looks like Ant has gotten a decent amount of buffs. Like, he's actually just, like, he's very hard to deal with, especially up close. Yeah, V-Trigger 2 is just you're in a constant positive loop. <laughs> yeah, like, he's positive on so many things. Like, what? Even outside of that, his buttons are usually pretty decent. Raw scissors. But you also have to get in. Dash up throws are guaranteed against me. Oh, dash up <laughs> throws are guaranteed against a lot of people. Yeah. And it's funny, Ed is one of the only people who still has that. <laughs> I, I feel like Vega could have at least kept it as well. He needs it. Yeah, is, is Vega even still in the game? Like, I haven't seen <laughs> I was playing him a bit before AE dropped, but uh, now he's not in the game. Really. Part with the way Justin will play, he's just gonna, he's not gonna commit to anything. He's more of a punish type, but once he does punish, he'll literally put like a loop of gimmicks. He's gonna have to guess from then on that. Oh, yeah. And each of his gimmicks does about 60%, so it's pretty bad. <laughs> Get pop for the shimmy there. Pressing nothing. Okay, count him jump. When the game launched, people were really not a big fan of that ball replacing Psycho Crusher. But. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it's found its uses. Oh, you open him up for the shimmy now. Gonna get a full conversion off that. Ah, he missed the line. That's fine. This be. Now, we've seen the damage off of this. Yeah. Technically, it'll take one, maybe like two. Yeah. He'd be. The trigger 2 seems to be the way to go for Bison. And Bison has a command grab now as well. Oh, yeah. Can't even take that. Okay, so no more V trigger, but he does have damage, and all it takes is one. It's still one combo on both. Okay, we're good, we're good. <laughs> you know, if he could have punished that uh, head stop, it would have been over a lot sooner. But it worked out well. Old player sitting on full meter. Yeah, being very turtle. Bison's always had problems opening people up, so True, it's probably like dashing in is definitely the last way to punish. Like, um, and we've all been playing Dustin for so long, like he's gonna have to not do that, or at the very least, tame him enough to where he can. This might be it. I mean, not immediately. Yeah. The nature of Street Fighter Five takes less technically hit. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. He, there's never a time where he has not slide. He will slide regardless <laughs> of the situation. Uh, I'm trying to get something started. He has to be triggered to shoot. Oh, oh, that's it. Might see a switch to Zeku or something. Something like that. I don't know who I did. don't know if Zeku would do well in this matchup. I know no matchups for... <laughs> for oh, you know no matchups? <laughs> yeah. So Zeku is... Pretty, well, he is up close. Like, well, he has uh, that one kick side S thing. Yeah. But... I feel like it's not always that dependable. I feel like yeah. it's actually kind of reactive. From what I've seen, he seems it. even like slower, heavier hitting than Bison. He just seems very uh, methodical. Not oh, really. Zeku? Yeah. He has some non methodical stuff, but for the most part, yeah. He, he's kind of normal. Possumino. Well, finally gets that crush counter. Opting to jab there. The, he's crouching Pierce, got the cross up. That's the thing. <laughs> altered the hitbox, altered the hurtbox. Yeah, they did. I was just thinking about those patch notes. I was like, <laughs> I, I see. Both uh, players honestly oh. looking kind of uh, scrambling. like they don't really know what's happening. Ooh. But for the most part, Bison came out on top. I like those big claw spike normals. Oh, they're good. <laughs> it's a very good whip on the as well. Trying to get something started there. Got him to jump. Oh, he got the defense score. I think this is where Bison wants you to be, in the corner with you trying to get out. Definitely. Yeah. You know, I'm really jump back in. Like, um, oh. He said to like burn out. Really 
said to burn a lot of uh, V meter just to get out of the corner. Yes. No, I think this. Oh, those, those oh, crumbles. Come back. There we go. That's all it takes. Yeah. No. No save. Uh, actually, should always use super at all. He got to burn the meter. Ooh. Crouch middle kick, still good. Definitely. Two games running. Uh, <laughs> oh no, it's more than. <laughs> oh yeah. It's more than three games. <laughs> least, uh, CBS two, <laughs> Street Fighter two, four, five. Well, you know, honestly, if you count all the Street Fighter twos as separate games. No, <laughs> I don't count those. Just Street Fighter two, one of them. But uh, I guess I'll go with Turbo. <laughs> Like He's going for that jumping heavy punch. And, he has. Uh, He's getting into it more often. Yeah, has he not? Yeah, he's jump throw. No, he's really uh, forcing Bison to go in. Like, that's actually yeah. working a lot in his favor. Yeah, because it's never... Never good for Bison. Never been Bison's strong suit. He's already jumping up, like, in advance to a lot of those dash ins. Yeah, he's looking really optimal right now. Okay. Hit. I don't know what he's going for, but I'm going to assume it was Roundhouse. <laughs> mm, yeah, he's really uh, yeah. paying a lot for those dash Ooh, <laughs> that was a big anti-air. That was. I think they could get a little more off of it, you know? The distance just kind of resets things. Ooh, that was a good... Some good game sense on when to throw that out. Definitely. I wonder what he caught there. I probably a roundhouse using the distance. Yeah, a roundhouse or stand medium kick. Like that distance. I'm not sure about that. He's doing kick. a whole lot of the reverse. He is. Honestly, he's got the meter, so I think it's fine. Oh, if he just would have just finished that cross up. I uh, that's not gonna don't chip. think that's gonna chip. Yeah, that's it. What? No. He opt out. Not. I'm not sure about. I'm not sure about the agree with these decisions. Oh. All right, I'm up. So I got. You're up. Um, guys, let me know how the audio's been. I've been told to switch to the front for this microphone. So uh, I'm going to keep it like this. <laughs> Why didn't you let me know eons ago? Oh. <laughs> but it's, it's better than this. Yeah, you got to talk in the front, dude. Yeah, I got right. you. Is this, uh, so who's who's up to one? Um, it's actually uh, Gavor. Okay. So... No, uh, Bison. Bison is one. Actually, yeah. Actually, that's a good question. Hey, Pedro, are you up to one or? Oh, he's oh, up. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. The last thing I saw was the jab, and then you told me about the mic thing. What? Um, I mean, that's just like changing. That's. Uh, yeah. You you can change if they if they change characters, you can change. That's a very good question. Uh, yeah, I made a ruling on this uh, a while back because he because he's the only one on the entire planet who would ask me that, and um, I'm pretty sure that's the ruling. I don't know. But can I be honest? Does it even matter? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I highly like, doubt it matters. I don't so. see anyone complaining about you changing your super. It's like an ultra. Remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I yeah, consider it the, same, it the same, thing. same thing. Oh, he did opt to go to Zeku. Like, um, he was struggling a lot in neutral with Bison, like getting in wise, mm -hmm. and like uh, Zeku. I know he has like that one uh, projectile with his foot. But like, will that really change anything? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so, okay. so here's one of the keys to the matchup that uh, is not very easily apparent. Yeah. Um. So Justin actually went out partying last night, and he's like oh, super he hungover apparently. Hangover. So yeah. So I think that's Are actually we affecting about the real his life play. Matchup? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's one of the hardest matchups you'll see uh, at one of these tournaments. It's a real life matchup. Oh, man. There's no patch for that. You just got to take it. Now, here's the thing, though. Uh, I don't think Latino Joe knows this matchup. So because he's probably going to eat a bunch of shit that he's unfamiliar with. Yeah, because he's like, who's this Strider looking character? You know, he's probably thinking he's about to do like Ouroboros or something. Oh, yeah, definitely. So. I hear he's been dabbling in uh, DBZ. Okay. He used to playing two buttons instead of three. No, I'm joking. I actually think the game is good. Which one? Uh, DBZ. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a solid game. Um, not really much negative to say about it, you know? No. Well, um, if I had to give one critique, just really quick. Okay. It's, uh, I feel like it's very similar to a lot of games I've played before. Yeah, I mean, is that a bad thing, though? Cause, no, it's <laughs> you not know? because it does it well. Yeah, it's yeah. It's well made. Uh, anyway, uh, Latino Joe showing uh, canceling a flicker, but not a con. Ooh, okay. He's gonna eat that. He has so one thing that's really good about Latino Joe is he has very good reactions. Oh. Mm -hmm. On top of like uh, his ridiculous set play, I've heard. Uh, yeah, he. Yeah, you know what? People don't give him enough credit, but yeah, he has really good set play. He has really good reactions, uh, and um, he's very good at using his experience to help him. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's natural, right? But more so, I guess not everyone does it, but he takes that, I guess, very much into mind. Um, yeah, so in, with my experience with him, I guess he just has more experience than a lot of other players because he really grinds out a game that he, True. if he likes it. So, um, you know, if you play a game here or there, like once a week or whatever, it's yeah. hard to use your experience because whatever, you're going to forget everything you just learned. But, Definitely. But, uh, but he grinds really it out. he's grinding it out. <laughs> but, uh, essentially, so nevertheless... Um, he's still actually losing against this uh, Pedro, this Ed, but um, he's going to open him up through sheer brute force alone. He's going to switch that old Deku for that damage. Ah, I like it. Actually, that combo is actually kind of dope. I haven't seen much Deku, so I actually like that. But no, it actually worked out in his favor. But you were saying about uh, Drogas? T talking to me? Yeah, you were uh, elaborating on... Uh, Pedro and how he learns games. Some uh, of yeah, yeah. Well, he, he just, he just, like I said, he grinds this game a lot, uh, or grinds the games that he likes a lot, mm. and um, you know, he uh, he figure he figures something out and he just keeps doing it until it becomes ingrained in his memory. And um, that's actually impressive. Yeah, no, it's really good. Um, the the thing is, he loses the things he's not familiar with. That's his mm. issue. Yeah. So if there's something that he hasn't really labbed, he yeah. will understand how to deal with it, and he will lose more likely. Uh, I mean, you know, he has good set play too, so he can still win the match, but if it's a solid player and he doesn't know what's going on... Then that's it. Yeah, it's a lot harder. I see. I mean, yeah, you can win the set play alone, but like say it's a defensive or, very, like you said, a solid player. Yeah. Like, uh, you have to get into set play. Mm -hmm. But no, I've noticed that a lot uh, this time around. Like, just with uh, the game in general now. Especially since it's a little more neutral, fix it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Latino Joe did not know what was going on right there. Honestly. Even if he did, I feel like he might have eaten that slide anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's, that's a hard spot to be in. I wanna be, that's the last thing I was thinking about. My man, for a man with the hangover, he's doing fairly well. I mean, he's doing better than us, what, 90% of us? Okay, they're switching characters again? If he goes to Balrog, uh, I'm not sure how that will work out. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really figured out the matchups uh, in this newer version of the game, so I don't know how Balrog does against Zeku. Uh, but can I talk about one thing? If Zeku would continue to uh, zone properly, what would Barrog even do to get in? Like, yeah, they nerf a lot of his like, really dumb stuff, but he does have, I mean, okay, if he does EX dash punch, he can time it at some time where he's plus on block. Oh, so. and that's before he starts off the projectile as well. So if he's at a certain distance, he should be able to hit that before he even, like, actually it appears on the screen, right? Yeah, so it's up to Pedro if he wants to waste meter on that. I mean, he does get in at advantage, but yeah. I, I don't know if it's worth. I don't know if I agree with this young Zeku thing, man. I really um, don't. The like, thing, yeah, the thing about D-Guy War is he, he really likes the unconventional stuff. So the things that oh, you don't think uh, is right. Do. Yeah. To be honest, he I likes play him it. a lot, and that's all he does. Like, we've had, I would even say thousands of matches at this point. Yeah, but that's that's a good thing to do, too, because, like, uh, people don't expect it, you know? Yeah, they only see, if, um, a lot of top players, they play the game a certain way. So mm -hmm. if you do anything outside of what they're generally used to seeing, yeah. then they won't be familiar. No, I understand. And that's not to say the top players don't have a reason why they do that, but... Uh, D guy of war really wants to make his way work, which is you know admirable of him. I think so as well, and he's honestly made it work pretty damn well. Uh, but Barog doesn't care. Barog is like you know flashback of season two. Yeah, I, I didn't see anything that was like particularly like you know oh shit you know it just yeah. kind of happened. That was pretty godlike, but wasn't intentional. This is a very good match so far. It's very close. Uh, a lot of counterplay between the two. Mm, definitely. Um, these are two of our representatives for Team Arkansas back in the uh, Oklahoma versus Arkansas 5v5 that we yeah, had. Just in general, I would say at this point. 
Um, they have a lot of experience together, so they kind of know each other's tendencies and stuff. Um, very interesting. He's being very annoying right now. Pedro's just waiting for his moment. He's good at waiting for his moment, too. Oh, yeah, I've seen. Like, he will block quite a bit. Yeah. And he's really good at uh, catching those openings. Like, just now when he was going to pressure into dash, Ooh. he was already jabbing. He jabbed twice, so he couldn't get an actual confirm off it, but he knew. Wow, that but, jump um, was so crazy. He has this really... Yeah, he has this really crazy, like, floaty jump, apparently, yeah, off seen. a wall. I really don't like, like wall jumps in this game. They're very um, inconsistent. Uh, not inconsistent. They're very strange. Yeah, they're all footing. Like... Sometimes you enter it properly, sometimes they stuff you. Yeah. Yeah, it's very... Like, if you put yourself in the corner and they jump at you, yep. then you're like, okay, normal anti-air timing. And then they yeah. bounce off the wall, and it's like not normal anti-air timing Yeah, anymore. so like, you hit a button to anti-air, and then you just end up getting hit. Ooh, you okay. Damage. Oh, shit. All right, so Deke is trying to find a way to get in. He just found one through that, uh, that flip. Ooh, Ooh he's okay. He's as well. Ah, if he were just a little... If he pulled forward or, like, used a different button, he would have been just fine there. Oh, okay. I like that. Very good uh, with punish. Oh, he caught him dashing. Or spinning. Oh, my. Yeah. He, oh! Oh. I, that was the good most. Good stuff. Good stuff. I uh, I have nothing to say towards that, honestly. Like, that was actually pretty godlike. That was the most Justin thing I've ever seen in my life. That's what he does. You just take a really standard situation and make it unorthodox and awkward. And he'll win. So, like, yeah, good shit to that.